Welcome to this session. Let's look at the topic on three tiers of government. Three tiers of, of government. Um, some call it three tiers of government. So um, some call it three tiers, and, you know, but not tiers in the eyes. <laughs> anyway, so three tiers of government. Um, it is key to understand that uh, in the previous session, we mentioned the levels of the federal, the state, and the local government. And I also said very clearly that some government called the state level the county or the region. So here we're looking at the three tiers of government. And I want to say clearly that the three tiers of government are very important because um, there's a need to create the government and structure it into a strata. A strata here, I also mean a structure by which the government can operate at the top level, at the middle level. The top level, which is the federal level, the top level, which is the rulership level, the top level, which is the, the toppest level, uh, depending on what is called in various countries, is a level where the control of the entire country you know, comes from. It is the, the overall legislative level. It is the overall judiciary level. It is the overall executive level where whatever is planned and passed into law by the constitution of the country is managed from. And from there we get to the next level, which is the state level. And the state level is a level where every state of the country, every region of the country that is controlled either by a mayor or by a governor, you know, is able to administer, you know, uh, properly what has been set, what has been created from the federal level. So say in country A or country B or country T or country P, for example, you have a president. Under the president, you have states and you have state governors or state mayors. They manage what has been, you know, um, created from the federal level. At the state level, of course, the governors, the mayors also have deputies and they also have commissioners and other top you know, um, officers who handle a proper administration in the various areas like finance, planning, education, agriculture, aviation, healthcare, and lands, mining, waterways, airways, name it, you know, different areas have been managed. And after the state level, we have the local level. So we have the federal, we have the state, we have the local level. Or in some countries, we have the federal level, we have the national level, we have the mid middle level, which is the state level, the county level, and we have the local council level or the local municipality level. That is the way it operates. So that is how government works. And in every government, you know, either in the UK or you go to Poland or you navigate to, um, to Switzerland or wherever you go, Swaziland, or you get to Brazil, there are always you know, different systems that the government are, are running. Uh, however, it is key to understand that the government have the responsibility to the people and they have to also provide for the people basic amenities of life, like what? Like security. Security is one of the most important. In fact, I would personally say that it is the most important part of all that the government you know, has to provide for the people. And water supply is there, healthcare is there, not just healthcare, but good healthcare, quality healthcare has to be provided for the people. Facilities for education, facilities for sports development, and all the areas that are you know, key are provided by the, uh, by the government, and this is also a key, so that every citizen is able to enjoy the benefits they should enjoy. The government is also responsible for providing you know, protection for the people, which we mentioned a minute ago or some seconds ago. You know, people, the citizen, must be protected you know, from external aggression or even internal aggression. And of course, the maintenance of you know, uh, peace and order and as well as you know, economic stability for everyone who is within the country, either at the federal level, at the state level, or at the local level. This is very, very key. And that is why we have the federal you know, security agencies, we have the state, we also have the local government policing where they please everyone and make sure that there's you know, um, security of lives and other. There's also um, a few principles you know, that guides 
each local government. You know, and principles that I have here are four of them. Of course, we have the supreme, supremacy of the law. We have the equality before the law. Everyone is equal before the supreme law. The law is supreme to all, for all, and for the benefit of all. And it means that everyone is equal before the law. And there's also what we call the separation of power between the various factions. And totally, we have supremacy of the Constitution. This is where I want to peg this um, topic today. And let's look forward to the next one.